Hello YouTube, this is the Phone Smith. So today we'll be doing an FRP removal. We'll need four files. FRP file, the combination, the stock firmware, and Odin. So now let's open up Odin and now let's put our phone in download mode. So turn off your phone completely. After that, you'll hold the volume down, the power button, and the home button at the same time once your phone is completely turned off. All right, also press volume up because it will bring up a warning screen to continue on to download mode. So now, make sure you have all your Samsung drivers so that your phone communicates with your computer successfully. After that, go to your combination file and load it up on your AP slot on Odin. After it's loaded up, press start. When your com pops up inside of Odin, and this should only take a few minutes. So this is basically a special engineering firmware which is being uploaded onto your phone which you will then use on to, to, to remove the FRP. Right now I'm just loading up the FRP file on Odin but I'm not going to start it because we did not put our device into download mode. I'm just getting it ready. So when we do put it into download mode we have it set and ready to go. Now since in our combination I'm just going to go to settings, go to about device or developer options and make sure that USB debugging is enabled. After I check that off, I'm just going to turn off the phone. After it's turned off, well now we're thus again going to put it back into download mode, press volume up to continue on to it, and now we're going to flash the FRP file, which will reset our Google lock so we can use our J327T or 27T1. This should also take a few minutes. Okay, once it's successfully passed on Odin, now we will thus, it will thus go through a few resets and a few restarts, but that's just normal. That's just it, the phone doing what the phone does after you flash it with Odin. It's just getting ready to let you basically see a new user interface that you can use. It will take a few minutes because it's like a new phone. You just started up with fresh firmware. It just needs to load up, get some absence to check. Um, and make sure everything's operating properly. Metro PCS. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so now since everything has been loaded up, we're just gonna go through these steps just to skip through the setup process. As you can see, you have more options now instead of the Google lock that tells you you have the incorrect email or password. Now, we just wanna confirm the, the Google unlock by going to the settings at the top right, 
scrolling down, what I did, I just went to about, I looked for build number to go activate the developer options to make sure that USB debugging is turned on. Tap the build number seven times, look for developer options, and I just made sure the USB debugging is swiped on. After I checked that, I just went and went with a factory reset to reset the device so that now I will successfully remove the Google lock. And thus again, it's gonna go through this normal factory reset, restart, boot loop, whatever you may call it, just cause it's getting ready again to show you a new interface, a fresh version of your phone with nothing on it. Okay, my phone has been factory reset, it cleaned off, ready to go. So now since this has been finished, now we're just gonna go through regular setup settings and everything, set up for ourselves, or just set up right quick because now we just need to get through that so we can basically put our phone into download mode once again to flash the stock firmware to finish off the complete removal to make sure your phone is working perfectly normal. Okay, so we'll get that stock firmware file, which I'll be again putting in the description so you guys can download it using Google Docs, not any other, you know, you know what the people be using on um, the little ads and everything. Not nah, just it's gonna be sweet and simple to the point, so it's gonna be simple, fast speeds, and you know, reliable for you guys. 
So as we flash the stock firmware, this will actually finalize the entire Google removing process for the J327 T1 and the T. All right, our stock firmware has just been successfully flashed. Now it's gonna go through the same reset, reboot loop process. And after this is done, this is actually summarizing the entire repair or unlock of the Google bypass for the J3. Startup should take a few minutes. It shouldn't be long that long. Um, but after this is finished guys Your phone's perfectly back to normal everything's flashed in order and there you have it guys the Google bypass it Jade